we are going to look at how you can enroll in the Windows 10 extended security updates free of charge without having to keep a Microsoft account as our login. Like in my case, I have actually got a simple local account. I've not associated my account with a Microsoft account. Now, this does mean temporarily connecting the account to a Microsoft account. So you either must have a Microsoft account or you need to create one. They're free of charge. Don't worry. So if you've come to this screen here where you've got the enroll, if, you, if you're not at that screen, if you want to know how to get to it, click on the start button, click on settings and then click on update and security. And if you've been offered the extended support, you can click on enroll now. Now, if you haven't got this, then I have done a video. There should be a link to it in the description down below or there's a link on the screen right now. Go and see that video first of all, then come back to this one. So, OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on enroll now. I've got my local account. So it says here enroll in extended security updates to stay protected. S support for Windows 10 ends on the October the 14th, 2025. Without security updates and technical support, your PC will be vulnerable to attacks and malware. Get extended security updates to keep your Windows 10 device safer enroll to receive critical security updates after support ends. That way you'll have more time to decide when you move on to your next PC, worry free. So, okay, let's just click next. And now it's going to ask us to sign in with a Microsoft account. So I've already got a Microsoft account. If you haven't got one, then click on create one. Please, when you're setting it up, please be truthful. Please make sure you give the right date of birth, the right country that you come to come from, because later on you could get tripped up. If you're ever asked, if you ever get locked out of that Microsoft account and you need to keep it for any reason, then it's, there's no good if you've given the wrong date of birth or the wrong country, because simply Microsoft will not help you recover that account. OK, so I'm going to sign in. I've typed in my email address. I'm going to click next. And now it's asking me, how do I want to sign in? We'll sign in in whatever way you want to. I'm going to use my password. So I'm going to click that. I've typed in my password. Now I'm going to click sign in. So if you get this message, then you can simply just click enroll. If you get any other message, you might get a, uh, a message that says that if you back up your settings, you can do it at no cost or you can pay at the equivalent of $30, $24.99, I believe it is in the UK, but I'm getting this message up here. So I'm gonna click enroll and there you go. It says enroll in your device in extended security updates. Now this bit might take a bit of time. That's circle spinning around. There you go. Now I've got confirmation. You're enrolled in the extended security updates through October 13, 2026. So I've got an extra year and it's suggested that I make sure my PC is fully backed up. Well, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to send all my stuff across to Microsoft. I want to keep it on my PC. I want to keep control of it myself. So I'm just going to click and we can check now up in the top right hand corner. It says your PC is enrolled to get extended security security updates. Right. OK, but now it's attached my Microsoft account to my computer. So how do I get that off? So I'm just going to click on home. I'm going to click on accounts and then right here, I've got an option there to stop signing into all Microsoft apps automatically. So I can move my mouse over that left click once and there we go. It's gone back to a local account, as you can see there. So the next thing we want to do is we just want to make sure that nothing is still backing up to the Microsoft account. So click on home just up there in the top left hand corner and then click into find a setting that box just there and type backup. OK, and then click on backup and sync your settings and then just make sure that under remember my preferences, everything is switched off. You can even click on remember apps, make sure that that's switched off as well if you want to. There you go. That's no longer being backed up to Microsoft. In actual fact, there are no Microsoft accounts attached to the, the device anyway to back up to. Let's just go back to the home screen and let's go back to update and security and just double check that we've still got extended updates even after we've turned off the backup and even after we've removed our Microsoft account and gone back to a local account and 
as you can see in the top right hand corner, it still shows your PC is enrolled to get extended security updates. Let's just make doubly sure about that. Let's close this down and let's restart the computer. So and just make sure after a restart, we are still eligible for the extended security updates. Computers restarted, so click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner, move your mouse over settings, click on that and then click on update and security and just check in the top right hand corner, it still says your PC is enrolled to get extended security updates. Yes, it's still there. So therefore we're still okay and we're gonna be okay at the moment till at least the 13th of October, 2026.